Hi, my name is Kent Lee. I am the author of uh, Python Programming Fundamentals, published by Springer, and uh, Data Structures and Algorithms with Python, uh, along with my co-author Steve Hubbard, um, also published by Springer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Python programming environment for your computer so that you can uh, follow along with lectures that I have available on YouTube under CS Professor and, uh, and uh, do the exercises and, and programming exercises out of those textbooks. Of course, if you're involved in a class, uh, you can get your lectures from your, your professor um, and your professor will have access to solutions as well. So I'm on a Mac here, and uh, the directions are very similar for a PC. First thing we want to do is we want to open up a web browser, and we want to go to python.org, and we want to download the latest Python 3 that's available. So there are two versions of Python. Um, we want to make sure that we download the Python 3 version. And you can see under Mac OS X here, the latest version is 3.9.2. I don't have that on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. So once you have that downloaded, uh, then you can click on opening it up. Um, on a Windows computer, it uh, would be a self-extracting uh, or installation package. Um, so the directions there would be somewhat similar. You want to keep clicking next probably on a on a Windows machine. Um, we just want to go through, accept the agreement. Um, we got a place to install it. Go ahead and install. And on this machine, of course, you've got to provide your password on Windows. Um, I don't believe that you do. So and that will install it on your computer. And it needs to finish up. And there we go. And then it's installed on your computer and, and ready to go. Now, uh, to, write, to write Python programs, we also want to get what's called an integrated development environment. And I recommend that you go to wingware.com and download the Wing 101 version of Wing, which is free for everybody who is, is learning to program. And you can see that uh, my book here is, is linked to it. They were kind enough to, to put that link on there as well, since I've recommended it in my, in my text. Um, so... It's downloading currently. Should do that on a Windows computer as well. You want to install it, of course, once it's downloaded. So once it's downloaded, then you'll want to click on it to install it again, just same as uh, on same on a Mac as on Windows. And of course, you'll click next and and go through the whole process on on Windows, which will take care of it installing. On the Mac, you're dragging it over to the Applications folder. So once you've got it installed on your computer, you can you should on Windows have a shortcut already. On a Mac, you might uh, scroll to the bottom of your of your uh, Applications folder, and I can see that I've got Wing 101 here, and you can put it right on your bar if you want to. Um, on, a, on a Windows computer, you'll have it under the start menu and you could drag it down to your dock on the, on the uh, Windows computer as well. Um, when you start it up the first time, there's going to be um, some questions, I suppose, or maybe a dialogue to accept the, uh, the license agreement. It is free for educational use. The 101 version is and and so you should be able to bring it up. It should look something like this. I do see in the Python shell window that Python 3.9 is running on my computer. If that were not the case, if you did not have the version running that you expected to, you could go up to edit and configure Python. 
and under that you could type in Python uh, 3.9 um, you could type the command to do the command line and you just type all small letters Python and then the version that you've got no spaces um, you could also browse for it but chances are it'll be easier to just do that but of course on this computer the default was going to work and uh, and that's great um, one more thing that you might do here as just kind of an initial start if you're going to run this um, you might just try typing print and then in double quotes hello and uh, and running it and you should see that uh, it asks you to save I'm just going to take the untitled here for this one and um, and it should print hello for you to the screen below I am going to adjust my font uh, for future um, lectures that I'm going to do this is a big screen and awfully small um, but uh, if you needed to adjust your font it's easy enough to do you go up to preferences or on a Windows machine it would be similar and you go to uh, to fonts and you can say use the selected font and you pick something that's a little bit bigger I'm gonna pick an 18 yeah, maybe even a 24 point font and um, and for the editor I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go up to a 24 point font on this screen just so you can see it and it probably will want to restart and there it restarted for me and I can see I've got my print hello world and if I click run again it runs it and it prints hello world to the Python to the debug IO window down at the bottom so that's all there is to configuring Wing 101 and Python uh, on your computer. And after you've done that, you'll be ready to go and start watching lectures. Again, go to CS Professor on YouTube.com. Uh, so it's YouTube.com slash CS Professor, all one word. Um, and uh, you'll be able to watch my video, my video lectures there. Thank you very much.